CableEye provides a database in which you may store model cable data. In addition to saving the wireless and connector types, the database also has fields for descriptive notes, label text, and system variables like the operator's name and resistance thresholds. After you measure a cable and determine that the wiring is correct, enter some descriptive notes about the cable by clicking the Test Notes tab and typing the description. To save time, I've entered most of the notes on the clipboard and I'll paste them in now. Let me add one last line. When you're finished entering descriptive notes, type in any label text you may need for a printed label. Finally, click the Save button. A dialog box appears into which you type the name or part number of the cable. The list below the entry box shows all names that begin with the letters you've typed thus far. I'll start by typing M. We see that all M names appear. This helps us choose a unique name and avoids saving duplicate cable data. When I type 5, no other names appear in the list, so I now have sufficient characters for a unique name. Here's the rest of the name. You may use spaces, dashes, and special characters if you wish. Click OK when ready. Now let's see if the cable was really stored. First I'll clear all of the existing data. Then I'll click Load Cable and begin typing the name M51. When you see the cable appear in the list, as you do here, you may either continue typing until it's the only item in the list, or simply double click on it. There it is. Click the Match Notes, and you can see our notes are still there, as well as our label notes. To confirm that the wiring is identical, click Test Cable to remeasure the cable. The green check shows that the cables match perfectly.